Welcome to Unbiased and On the Fence. I'm Shane. I'm so glad you could join me. Well, this one is, well, you see it right there, the Flat Earth. I think uh, this is an interesting topic. I'm not a Flat Earther myself, but I wanted to uh, present sort of my hurdles that I'm, I'm uh, dealing with to uh, to become a, uh, at least to consider the idea of the earth being flat. And uh, I thought I would just uh, sort of maybe do a series of videos where I uh, present the problems that I have with uh, sort of putting on the shoes of a flat earther and seeing how it is. Now, I'll tell you right off the bat, um, uh, I won't tolerate any sort of name calling or anything. This is really a serious conversation, a serious question that I'm posing. I know I've got some uh, Flat Earth viewers and uh, I know uh, other YouTubers like uh, the other day I just found out Nathan from Lift the Bell 2. He believes in the Flat Earth. Um, you know, these are people that I consider to be smart, you know, and uh, so if you know, if you plan on leaving a comment saying, you know, stuff like stupid and dumb and things like that, I won't, I'll just delete the comment because, you know, that gets us nowhere, to be honest with you. And that's, that goes for both sides, you know what I mean? Um, one of the things that I'm sort of taken aback by is uh, when uh, flat earthers will use some of these same uh, put down tactics towards Globers knowing how uh, tough it is to be a flat earther and uh, All the flack of people that don't even consider the idea of the world being flat And I've considered it quite a bit. I mean right at first I could see it But as I just considered more and more things I had a problem with it. and one of those things Is uh, the Sun on clouds above your head after sunset now I, I've looked through, I can't, there's so many flat earth videos and you know, when you go and look at a video and somebody's saying, you know, tape a level to a globe and spin it and stuff, I, I know somebody like Nathan from Left of L2 wouldn't consider this person as a representative for flat earth. So there's, there's a lot of flat earthers out there that's just putting out stuff that is just uh, really hurting the movement, you know, for the people that do believe in the flat earth. And I see a lot of people that got over the hump of being closed-minded and became a flat earther, but now they're so closed-minded that there's nothing that could ever convince them otherwise. And I think, uh, like I've said before, you got to stay, you can't be 100% about anything. Uh, once you hit that 100% sure about something, um, especially when there's uh, just unanswered questions with it, you're, you're closed-minded. No one can convince you, even if, uh, you know, somebody came with some hard evidence that is contrary to your belief, you would be stuck in that worldview. So that's the whole reason for this channel is the, what will it take for me to believe, uh, or at least consider something. And, uh, I've had a lot of difficult subjects that I'm able to see how, if I was born in a certain place and was indoctrinated a certain way. That I can uh, understand certain things like uh, suicide bombers is one I've mentioned before now I don't advocate it but I'm just saying that I can see how someone would end up in that position where that made sense to them you know what I mean and uh, but for flat earth you know there's uh, the question of the Sun on the clouds above your head and even to the I guess it would be the east the sun is on the clouds to the east after you see the sun go down and uh, here's a picture that uh, right at sundown okay and uh, we're actually looking to the south and you can sort of see because the moon is pointed towards the sun this way and the sun is went down just within the minute the sun has gone down for the people that's on the ground but when you look up, you see the sun on the clouds. So this is one of the difficulties I have. How is the sun on the clouds above my head and even to the east, this direction, which, you know, that might be pretty far. Let me, uh, here's a better angle because we're sort of looking to the uh, southeast and we see the sun 
over here. Let me play a little piece of this. Okay, now you see some of these lower clouds here. Uh, the sun isn't hitting these lower ones that don't look lit up. But the, the higher clouds up there, the sun is still hitting those. So my question, one of the difficulties I have, um, is just in observations. So I wanted to take this one question at a time because uh, here's another uh, view. If we're looking to the actual east where the sunset is behind us, I can see where over time sort of this imaginary line right here but this is the shadow of what I consider to be the earth so what is this if this isn't the earth shadow and the Sun going behind the earth what is creating the shadow because even in some of the things I think of like all right I think if the Sun if they had a Sun simulator and there's like the spotlight pointing down but then they had a, a spotlight that was like really direct so it didn't hit the ground but it sort of hit the clock I try to use this uh, idea of a, a, a simulated Sun to create the idea of a, uh, a flat earth how could you pull it off to create this illusion that the, that we're on a globe when we're really not let me see what this one is here here it is again you see the line there and then the Sun is on these clouds that are up higher and uh, this is actually like a minute or two later and the reaction the the it changes really fast there's a few I got of the moon kind of blurry and then here we are uh, almost four or five minutes after the Sun's gone down Now looking towards the east, we still see the sun is hitting clouds the opposite direction of the sunset. And go to the next one. Now this is looking towards where the sun went down. Okay, now we're looking back. Here's the moon again. Now see the shadows getting higher and higher? the shadow of what I always thought was the uh, the earth shadow being cast up there so just a serious question because as long as I observe this I can't get this is one of the main questions I have and I, I've got another a main one too two really main difficulties with getting um, to get beyond to consider the flat earth and how they might pull it off here we go looking to the uh, east again and we see the Sun is up even higher now it's hitting some clouds that are up higher and now these ones that was hitting earlier are in the shadow so and then all these lower altitude clouds here aren't getting the Sun so we see the Sun is uh, increasing in altitude and only hitting the clouds that are uh, really high up and uh, the same thing goes with a tall building um, people at the top can see the Sun after the people on ground level can't see it anymore so how, how is that pulled off um, and you know I expect people to be you know intelligent in their replies and not name call like I said I'll just have to delete if there's any sort of trolling because I don't want people to get upset about this topic I, I really honestly uh, would like to have a uh, intelligent conversation in the post about this and uh, like I said, I know intelligent people that believe in the theory, and I just would like some of those people and people like them to respond to this and how you get beyond this here because this doesn't involve NASA or any other thing. This is just when I go out at night and the sun goes down and I look up. Here we go, uh, seven minutes after the sunset. The sun hasn't been visible on the ground for over seven minutes but yet clouds to the east that are way up in the sky are getting the sun so that's pretty much the question I had to pose so if you would leave a comment below and tell me how uh, you get up uh, get over this hurdle um, and what explanation you have for because I've looked around and I don't see anybody that asks or answers these uh, 
these simple questions I have about the whole thing. Everybody gets sort of into NASA stuff, and, uh, which I believe is faked, um, much of it. Some people believe it's all fake. I don't particularly believe every single thing is fake, but I do, uh, I know they fake some stuff. I mean, that's evident, but it's a fallacy to just say the Earth is flat because of that um, with no other connecting uh, information. So I know some of the other questions, tough questions have been answered and to my satisfaction even, um, but this is one that I'm having difficulty with. So taking these one by one, hopefully we can get somewhere and I appreciate you watching. Please leave your comments below and we'll uh, have a nice discussion. Thanks for watching.